Let's talk Minnesota Twins baseball. <sighs> All right, we'll try that intro, see if it's a little bit better. But what is going on, guys, today? We're going to be talking about basically the Minnesota Twins infield. Uh, so, you know, we got first base, uh, first well, first and second base. They're on lock. Uh, you know who's going to be playing first and second. Shortstop, Polanco, uh, pretty pretty easily there. Third base, you got Miguel Sano. Uh, I guess we wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Hello? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. I don't know if you heard the news or not. Miguel Sano is out until May. Well, or, or, or April, I guess. It's, it's April or May, this dude is out of the lineup. He will not be starting. What the heck? Remember when I made that trade video the other day? I was like, hey, we need to trade Miguel Sano. You know what I'm thinking now? How about we cut him? How about we just get him off the team right now? Because I'm starting to think this guy is a joke. But in all seriousness, let's talk about this. So, that's right. Miguel Sano underwent surgery today for a thing in his foot. We'll talk about that. But, like, the first and main, main question here is what do we do with him now? Like, I, ta I talked about trading him. He had a great season in 2017. He was an all-star. He was the home run derby. He was fantastic in the field. The plate hit like 20-some home runs. Last year, he sucked garbage. He was awful. Uh, you know, he got sent down to double A, and he came back up, hit 13 home runs. We were like, finally, this guy is going to do something this year, right? We had so much hope for him this year. We thought he was going to do well, and then this happens. <sighs> okay, so let's talk about this. So, during the Dominican League in the winter, so the winter Dominican uh, league that he plays in, um, he was in the league championship, and during a celebration or something, he got a cut in his in his right Achilles tendon. Right, so you're like, okay, um, you know, he'll, he'll, he will heal. He'll be fine for opening day. Um, you know, he was in a boot. For the warm up or, or the workout, the full workouts, uh, and into spring training, he was in a boot. They said ten to two weeks or ten ten to two weeks, ten days to two weeks, and he should be okay. Um, you know, he'd be back for starting for starting day, opening day, um, and everything would be fine. Well, today we get the news that he has undergone the heel procedure. And he will be out until April or May, which really sucks. But the only good thing that comes out of this is we signed Gonzalez, so it looks like he's going to be playing a lot of third the first couple of weeks. Uh, but back to Sano here. It's like I don't know what to do with him at this point. Um, I mean, let's let's talk about this a little bit more in depth. So this is um, on the Star Tribune. I know a ton of other places – uh, we're, you know, reporting it today. Um, so, so no, I guess this article even said, uh, this is the Star Tribune, like I said. Uh, this article said that he was supposed to be in his boot for 7 to 10 days. And I even said 2 weeks. Uh, and that would have put him right around today, this, this week, that he would be back full, uh, ready to go for spring training. You know, and he'd be okay. And, you know, then I was like, okay, that's fine. We'll either start him like we were probably planning to do. Or I was like, hey, in that last video, I, I you know, gave the option of trading him. I'm like, hey, this guy, you know, kind of sucked last year. But he's he says he's got more focus. He's built bigger. He's, you know, got more power. He figured some stuff out. And I'm not saying you should trade somebody off of that or somebody who is trading for him would trade off of those, you know, presumptions but it looked like you know things are going to be great and and uh you know the idea is hey we'll trade him you know we might not get the best front uh, like the best back for him but it would be a good idea to trade him and you know at least be be done with this mess and you know we can work work we can start over um a lot of you guys said that you know hey we'll wait until uh you know the trade deadline and that was a great idea um or you know, we keep him this season, see how he does, and trade him next year. But now, what do we do? Because 
he is not he is not good like physically um or on the field um because like if you look at it so like i look i kind of picture buxton and snow like very similar um so they both came on the scene in like what 2015 2016 that time frame um they both had decently good seasons i believe uh you know rookie seasons Sano was at least a rookie of the year candidate i don't know about buxton um but i think buxton wasn't even a candidate that year because he didn't get enough at bats until like 2016 i think um but he still was fine right they did okay 2016 2017 they did well and then 2018 they both fell off like Sano had injuries buxton had injuries um, they both were not hitting great. I mean, Sano even got demoted to double A, like I said earlier. Um, Buxton was just hurt and did not play well, uh, even when he was when he was fine. But, you know, Buxton came back in spring training. And I think a lot of people were like, hey, if he gets healthy, he'll be great, right? He's got speed. If he gets his back going a little bit, he's not bad. So you've got him, Sano, or Buxton, excuse me, Buxton. And now going into spring training you're like hey this is really good i expect a lot from this guy he'll do great and i think that's where we were at with sano we were like hey he figured it out last year he's come back with a better attitude better mentality slimmer whatever maybe we can use him maybe we can do something with him and he maybe he's gonna be great maybe he'll like go to our expectations right but now what buxton is up here buxton has done that so far in spring training in the two weeks that they've played Sano is now hurt again, right? So you've looked at these two guys who basically have taken similar paths to get here, but now one's healthy and doing well, and the other one is in a boot for the next six weeks. I don't know what to do with Sano, and I really want to ask you guys this because what do you think we should do? I mean, we're not going to trade him at this point, right? We're not going to trade an injured guy. We're not. I'm, the only other option is do we let him go and... I mean, we have Gonzalez. Like, do we need this guy anymore? I, I mean, I've gone from very, like, the first video was the expectations about Miguel Sano to trading him. So now, we, should we even cut him? Should we just get him off the team? I mean, I understand that, you know, this is a big deal, right? You don't want somebody playing on a hurt foot. Like, I think it's like a what? A torn left or, or, or a torn lower right Achilles area in the tendon area. It's like you can either play, you know, be in your boot for seven to ten days, two weeks, whatever you need. Come back, spring training. You're, they said 80%. If he comes back 80% healed, they were going to play him. And, and he would be fine for at the beginning of March, which would have been like now, right? So, you know, you, you either go that route and you're in the boot for seven to ten days, two weeks, whatever and you're 80% healed, or do you take the path of surgery, right? And then you're out for, what, six weeks until April, May? It's four to six weeks, right? Like, I mean, I want him to be healthy, right? I do want him to be healthy. I think that's the smarter choice is to take the surgery. But obviously, it hurts the twins. It doesn't help him. I mean, maybe it will in the long run, but like right now, right? I mean, he's coming. B and the reason I say that is because he's he came back saying that he was going to be great right slim down attitude better focus better you know more power whatever more speed everything he's like you know i really learned it last year i figured it out now we're gonna do it now we're gonna put it into action but now he can't for another four weeks and he's gonna be out of action he's gonna be not getting reps he's gonna be you know on a bench it's so it's just like what do you do i don't know if we should cut him or not I don't want to see him go, but I'm almost to the point where this guy is just causing more problems than he is, I mean, helping us. I mean, you, if you're a Twins fan or watched any Twins games last year, we were supposed to be good. We've been we've supposed to have been good for the last four years, right? Since 2015, when Rosario, Buxton, Kepler, Sano, all these guys came up. Maurer was still doing great. Dozier was in his prime. I mean... All these guys were just rocking it. 2016, 2015, that was our year. And we tanked. We did awful. And things didn't get better in 2017 because everything that went could have gone wrong went wrong, right? And if you're a Twins fan, you know that. 
it just seems like this guy is the head of the problem. And as much as I like Sano, I just don't know what we can do with him anymore because, you know, he's just injury after injury. He sucks one time, then he's really good for a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, and then he sucks again. It's like the droughts are way, way worse than his hot streaks. And as much as I'm bashing on Sano, I do know that, you know, I would rather have him be healed and have one more good shot at it than, you know, be 80% and risk another injury. But it's just, what do you do at this point? That's my take on it. I really want to know what you guys think, though, because, you know, the lineup can only fit 25 guys, right? The, like, the dugout can hold the clubhouse, can roster 25 guys, and about half of them are pitchers. It's not worth keeping this guy on the major league roster for sure, but what do you do? What do you do? <sighs> Let me know, people, in the comments below, because I am confused. I don't know if we should get rid of him or not, but... I wish him the best, and I hope that something works out and he can figure figure it all out. Um, you know, physically, uh, health wise, emotionally, everything. Like I, I hope something. I hope we can figure it out. But that's what I got for you today. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. I really am interested. Uh, and like I said, I wish him the best. That's all I got for you today. Come back either a little later or tomorrow for another video. This has been Minnesota Twins baseball. See you tomorrow.